Ready, set, go. Hola, mi bella gente. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with us today. Yes, thanks so much. It's been a minute. Oh yeah. my gosh, it's been a while since we've sat down to film a video together. It's been like, yeah, a second. Yeah. But we are so pumped. Today we're going to talk about our individual experiences at our colleges. So we, jo we both just recently graduated college. And yeah, it's kind of like a reality check. You're like adulting. <laughs> up. I'm not ready for you. But yeah, we just wanted to make this video since August and like the school season is coming up soon. To give you guys an overview, basic overview of where we went. I just graduated from Emory University and that is a private school and it's located in <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia. ATL baby. Mm -hmm. A piece up, A town oh, down. No, I did that. <laughs> and I went to UGA, go dogs! Um, university UGA, of Georgia. Yeah, stands for the University of Georgia, and it's located in Athens, Georgia. It's about an hour and a half from Atlanta, Georgia, and I had the best time of my life there. There were some bad times, but there were a lot of good times. Yeah, and I graduated in December. Yes, and I just graduated in May. Yes. Woohoo! Okay, so I guess a basic question a freshman would first ask you is, what is your major? What do people usually go to this university for? So I graduated, like I said, from Emory, and I studied psychology and French. Uh, and Emory is, if you don't know what Emory is, some people are like, oh, wow, you go to Emory. And some people are like, Emory, what's that? <laughs> Who that? <laughs> Who that? But Emory is a private college and it's a research-based institution. So basically that's just like a fancy term for there's a lot of research opportunities. A lot of my professors and a lot of the professors at Emory do research on the side. So if you're looking to go into research or you're looking to get opportunities in research, I mean pretty much every college has research opportunities but mm -hmm. Emory is really great because they really just love research um, and I actually did research for two years in a neuroscience and a psychology lab and it was really interesting wow you I go know. girl she's so smart I know you're so stupid I'm kidding <laughs> um you see how mean she is <laughs> this is what happens off that's camera. why you didn't graduate from Emory I'm kidding <laughs> But um, yes, yeah, so Emory, I would say, is like a lower top tier school. So, <laughs> so yeah, so Emory is a competitive school, and I would say that its acceptance rate is definitely getting much smaller uh, than like four years ago when I was a freshman. Um, and Emory always fluctuates between the 21st best school in the U.S and it goes down to 20, so it fluctuates between top being in the top 20 and then being number 21. It's kind of like a running joke that we have at Emory. I was trying to laugh at your joke because it was not funny. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, but yeah, Emory is a great school and it's known for two main things. It's known for sciences because it is like, even though it's a liberal arts school, it is very much known for like pre-med and if you want to be pre-med it's perfect because Emory has like so many hospitals we have the Emory Hospital right next to us we have the Children Healthcare of Atlanta right next to us we have Winship Cancer Institute right next to us that it's so easy to find volunteering opportunities research opportunities shadowing opp opportunities and it's also known for business so we have the Gozeta Business School and it's like a very well-known business school there's like a little thing between the pre-meds and the business school students because we're like oh my god B school and then they're like oh my god pre-med but <laughs> B school and pre-med are basically like two of the top things that we have there and in retrospect if you were to ask me do I think Emory was the best decision for me I would say not 100% because I do have a very creative side to me because I'm obviously on YouTube. I'm a YouTuber. And I, I'm also really interested in the sciences, which was great. And I thought I wanted to be a doctor when I went into college and all throughout mm -hmm. high school, I thought I wanted to be a doctor. 
but going looking back on my experience I kind of wish Emory provided me more like creative opportunities we have like we'll talk about extracurriculars in a second but we have extracurricular activities that let you tap into your creativity but we don't really have like we don't have a journalism major we don't have a graphic design major we don't have advertising we don't have marketing well do we have marketing I actually don't even know but we don't have that many artistic type of majors and if you want to know more about the majors that Emory uh, provides you can definitely check the website so now about UGA University of Georgia basically um, UGA is a great school for well we have a business school it's called Terry School of Business and I think it's one of the top three schools in the United States for business I have a lot of friends that studied at Terry and they got jobs like that crazy um, we're also known for our journalism school. That's where I studied because I like I said I studied advertising and that's also one of the top schools in the United States for anything about social media, advertising, journalism, um, entertainment and media studies. So if you're into like into movies, if you're into um, being a reporter, anything like that, I think that's definitely a great choice for you. Um, we're also known for our football. Oh my gosh. The football games are super, super fun. <laughs> you we guys are not known yeah. for anything. Well, actually, yeah. no. We have good sports teams, but we don't have a football team. And we'll talk about social life in a second. But. Yeah. But if you like sports, UGA is definitely a great school to go to sports for. We are really involved in like the gymnastics. We have the gym dogs, and they are amazing. The girls are... They're so cool to watch. It's so amazing just to be in the arena and watch them. The basketball team is also great. Um, I have a friend who she runs track, or she ran track at UGA, and she was in the Olympics, which is so cool. Her name is Kendall Williams, so if you've seen her at the Rio Olympics in Brazil, oh my gosh, so proud of her. And yeah, it's just a really good school that is pretty well-rounded. There's a lot of things to get involved in. It's a huge campus. I think there's like 36,000 students, probably more. There's a lot of students that go to UGA. There's opportunities to get involved in everything. So if you're someone in college that, you know, you don't really know what you want to do, UGA is a great place to really not only, you know, academically find your way in life, but also figure out what you want to do through the extracurriculars. UGA has a really good art program. I wouldn't say it's the best. Um, I went to UGA for the main reason of being graphic design. That was my original major when I transferred, um, and we can get that into that later, but yeah. Uh, for art, I don't think it's the best program, but it definitely does have a good art program. I just think that they need a little bit more funding um, for that, but yeah, I you can literally major in anything at UGA. There's like forestry, there's how is how are economics. the science, how are the sciences? The sciences are really good. The only thing that UGA doesn't have is a nursing program. Mm. So if you are interested in nursing, you could start off at UGA to do your main courses and then transfer into a school that actually focuses on nursing. Mm -hmm. And yeah. there's two points that you reminded me of that I didn't mention. So Emory's size. Emory is, I would say, small to medium. It's definitely not tiny. It's not like the smallest campus on earth, but it's also not UGA size. So if you want something like in the middle, I would describe Emory as, for example, every single day I go on campus, I see someone new that I haven't seen before, but I also run into a lot of people a lot of the time. So it's kind of like a good balance between super huge and tiny. So it's like a good medium. I didn't feel overwhelmed by it. I didn't feel like bored by it either. I didn't think that like, oh my God, this feels like high school. I feel like I know everybody and everybody knows me. And in terms of nursing, I know this is very specific only if you're interested in nursing, but Emory has like an amazing nursing program. I think it's number three in the US. Wow. So I know. Um, so it's really great and obviously Emory Medical School is great if you're looking at medical school and not necessarily college. Emory also has like the uh, Rollins School of Public Health, which is great for public health. 
there's like the psychology there's a lot of graduate programs too so this is also helpful if you're looking to go to Emory or I guess UGA for grad school not just undergrad studies so that'll give you kind of a sense of the feel of the campus but this is obviously our undergrad experiences so how was your social life at UGA yeah basically transferring into UGA after being at Mercer was a little tough because Mercer was really small and I knew everybody like within the first five days of being at Mercer. So you really get a feel for who everybody is on campus. Whereas when I went to UGA, I felt like I was just this little tiny fish in this huge pond and I would meet people one time and I'd never see them again. So that was something that I really, really struggled with when I transferred, but I'm sure if you start out as a freshman, you definitely become more integrated because you know everybody's going in there at the same time mm -hmm. whereas when you're transferring you're kind of just plopped in mm -hmm. um, but yeah overall I had a really great time so how was like the spirit life the school spirit spirit life how was the school spirit uh, school spirit was really amazing yeah. like during game days holy bleep it was insane like you would go out to campus and literally our colors are red white and black it was a sea of red white and black you mm. could not escape it and so if you're someone that really likes to feel like you're a part of a community uga or any school that is like a big sec football school is for you like you will absolutely love being within that community and i really enjoyed that i went to a few games and every time i went i would meet really cool people we would have a blast and i personally am not that into football but going into the games and being surrounded by all of those people that are so excited and not just uga itself athens georgia there is mm. something about athens that when you are living there you feel like you are part of something bigger than you it's it just like infects you with this Athensness. I don't know you end up getting the I love Athens sticker you end up going to all of the events in Athens you end up making friends with the locals it's just an amazing community to be a part of but I will say that you have to do your part to get involved at UGA because it's very easy to fall into the trap of feeling alone and being like I have no friends because it's so big so if you ever you know you get into college and you're like oh I don't have anybody to hang out with really like make the effort to put yourself out there and meet people because it's not gonna happen if you stay in your room and don't hang out leave your dorm room open like invite people to help you decorate go out to free events if there's free food there's gonna be people there join a sorority like and you also don't have to join a sorority to be to have a social life in Athens or in UGA yeah mm -hmm. so I would say overall like the quality of my social life was amazing it was awesome okay so in terms of Emory's social life, I would say Emory is much, obviously it's more close knit than I would say UGA is because it's just given with the size. But just because Emory doesn't have a football team doesn't mean we don't have any school spirit. I mean, the school spirit is probably like on a scale from zero to a hundred, it's like five, but <laughs> it's still present. It's still there a little bit. School spirit at Emory still exists um, in other ways. So for example, we have this thing called Dooley's Week, Dooley's Week, and it's kind of funny because our official mascot is Swoop, <laughs> which is the eagle, Swoop. but we have an unofficial mascot, which is a skeleton, and there's like an entire story behind why he's our unofficial mascot, but like we kind of like everybody loves um, Dooley a little bit more than Swoop because Swoop is just like really typical mascot of a college but Dooley is like a skeleton so it's like kind of cool kind of different but um, we have this thing called Dooley's Week and it's in spring and it's just kind of like when we all kind of get together we celebrate Dooley it sounds kind of lame but it's actually really fun and something that Emory is really good about is its concerts so we have like really like fun and awesome concerts we had Post Malone come we had Chance the Rapper, we've had, who have we had? We had the Chainsmokers, we had DJ Khaled, oh we had J. Cole, J. Cole was like, that was the best time of my life, that was like freshman year, that was super fun. And freshman year, I feel like 
they really try to instill the school spirit in you, but it kind of dies off once you get like become a senior and you just go to the concert and you leave. And in terms of social life, I would say Emory has some pretty cool parties. I mean, we still have like frats and sororities. We do have Greek life. And I would say Greek life isn't as important at Emory as it is at UGA. But I mean, it's still part of us. We still have it if you want to do it. And also you have to think about that it's not just Emory, there's also Atlanta. So we are in Atlanta, which is really awesome. And the fact that we are in, that we are in like a thriving city is pretty cool. Living in Atlanta is really fun. I, one of my regrets is my first two years at Emory, I didn't really push myself to kind of leave campus. We call Emory the Emory bubble because you kind of stay within Emory a lot and you know that can be good and bad it's good in the sense that it like Emory becomes your home and Emory definitely has a campus feel so if you want that campus feeling like other schools that are in cities are kind of just like you know it doesn't look like a campus you show up to the place and you're like oh my god this is the school I thought it was just like a street yeah I wish I kind of pushed myself to go out more in terms of like explore Atlanta um, but I really tried my junior and senior year and I feel like I got to know it a lot better than I did my first two years so I thought Emory was very good in the sense that it allowed me to get really close to people I didn't feel super overwhelmed with the number of people which was very nice I personally got involved in the Latino community Emory is very diverse I would say Emory is great for diversity it's something that if that's something that you care about if diversity is one of your criteria for a college, Emory definitely has diversity. So that's something that's very good compared to other colleges. I have friends from all over the place and that's so nice and I really enjoy that. Um, but I specifically got involved in the Latino Student Organization. I was president, okay? Okay, girl. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so I loved that. That was like my home, my baby. And, um, yeah, I mean, I got involved in other things, but, you know, cultural clubs at Emory are really big, popping, and, yeah, so, like I said, just because Emory is, seems like a nerdy school, we still get down, we still party. <laughs> okay, so, we hope that gave you kind of a, an overview of the differences between a private and a public college. Um, so, the differences are there but I mean it just depends on what suits you what you like best mm -hmm. and we hope that you learned at least from our personal experiences me having gone to Emory and my sister having gone to UGA maybe you can kind of apply this knowledge to other schools that are similar other private or public schools also make sure to check out our Instagram it's Claudia X Greta and yeah thank you so much for watching this was so much fun so we will see you guys in our next video yeah